MDMA was first developed by the Merck Pharmaceutical Company in 1914. It only came to use in the 1970s where a small group of psychotherapists began to use MDMA as a therapeutic drug. Therapists claimed that patients had a greater level of communication when taking the drug, especially when expressing their emotions and opening up about past experiences. The drug was labelled as an antactogen, meaning it enhances the ability to confront disturbing or painful emotions. MDMA also began to be used recreationally and sold as the street form ecstasy, which is MDMA combined with amphetamine or caffeine. MDMA is often used as a party drug as it gives a resounding sense of happiness, excitement and energy. It has this effect by passing the blood-brain barrier and directly acting on the brain. It increases the release of serotonin, a neurochemical produced by the body and is associated with controlling your mood. The drug not only enhances the release of serotonin but also inhibits its reuptake, resulting in constant stimulation of serotonin receptors. The effects of MDMA last from 4 to 8 hours. Due to the influx of serotonin, once the effect wears off, the body removes the excess serotonin and, in fact, produces less. This leads to the come down stage of MDMA, which can include mood imbalancement along with bouts of depression and a lack of empathy. Incessant consumption of MDMA can lead to a decrease in serotonin levels as well as damage to the serotonergic axons and terminals in the brain, which can include areas such as the cortex and the hippocampus. The damaged serotonergic fibers slowly regrow, but such regrowth never restores back to normal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.